and welcome to this video about a game I wrote in BASIC for Windows called Castle. Um, this is the source code here. It's uh, 9k, the executable is 35k, very tiny. Um, so, this is the source code. Um, at the top, we see, sorry, let me just get this in frame, uh, the, a remark which says the name of the project, um, which compilers to use, and my website. Uh, there are some declarations. The menu for the game is drawn onto the screen, and input is gotten from that. Escape quits, and it generates a random dungeon. See, with this dungeon, uh, different numbers in different parts of the grid represent different objects in that particular room. Uh, it initializes the variables. There's a main loop. Uh, object X, for example, is the position in terms of horizontal where the object is in the room. Color uh, chooses a color for the text in the console. So the user input's gotten here, and uh, the user with these character codes here, these are uh, for Cube Basic. Um, there are combinations of letters and characters that produce uh, keystrokes. So with this keystroke here, it's up. Um, there's uh, some source code for the up, and it says collision detection here. Uh, that's because they collide with objects. And here's the here's the code for down, left, right, key. With these these are objects. Um, the the key is represented by a K. And if they happen to cross a cross paths with it this code here is executed. See the code is read from top to bottom um, but there are control of the flow of the... Pro th there's control of the flow of the program that changes things back and forth but you get used to that if you're a programmer. Um, this is the end which is has been randomly placed uh, a chest which contains items so it can contain potion armor knife um, and it re it uses keys to get into the chest there's money which is represented by GP see there's the old advanced dungeons and dragons uh, notation for GP and HP gold gold uh, pieces and hit points. The prisoner is basically a shop and they can buy things using their GP and if they don't have enough money it says insufficient funds which you know I didn't mean it to be a joke but um, I, I just wanted to express that they didn't have enough money in as few words as possible, so that's what I said. Um, and here's combat. Combat's interesting. See, you've got objects in the room, and um, it, it locates this and, and, and draws a, a blank over where they've been, and then the objects tracks tracks the uh the user's location and then um the object which might be an enemy for example particularly in a combat situation you go into this stuff here and 
they take turns of uh, attacking and 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 being attacked, and it works out using um, randomization whether or not the person gets hurt or not. So it's like dice rolls from Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and down here we see this loads the main screen. It's got this uh, uh, screen here, which is drawn up by ASCII characters. In this editor, it doesn't look like much, but if you if you viewed this in um, Q Basic, it would look like uh, a bit of graphics. Here's the inventory. See, it's got this message down the bottom of the screen um, where that you know what, what their status is in the maze or not the maze, the castle, because that's the name of the game. And it's sort of like, you know, a fantasy setting. Um, and enemy hit points and the object are attributed and all these things, and the goblin, skeleton, ogre. Um, and if room equals 99, then it's the end, uh, and that ends the game. So that's the source code. And um, if I hit make, compile, oh, there's a build error, which is interesting. Um, I wonder what that error was. It might have something to do with the way the um, the, yeah, it's got to do with the fact that the program's already running. So sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so we hit uh, make compile and then make done. See what we're doing is we're turning the source code into um, binaries. So binaries are things that can be natively understood by the computer. So here's the executable that we just produced. It's 35 kilobytes, which is tiny. Uh, and that's probably a good thing, but in this case it's probably you know, just a result of using BASIC as a, the programming language. So here's the game. Um, this is the title screen. In game, use arrows to move. So if I press a key, it'll start me off. And it started me off next to an ogre, which is bad news for me, because I'll probably get into a fight so you can see <coughs> at uh, the ogre is represented by this smiley face and it says you attack the ogre if I press space uh, the ogre attacks you attack the ogre the ogre attacks my hit points is coming down and I've been killed um, but I'll try again um, this time it started me off next to a goblin. The goblin attacks. See these um, things here, these are ASCII characters. And in Windows Console, ASCII is supported to an extent. Um, but sometimes the characters turn out looking a bit different to how you expect them to. So the goblin's attacking me. My hit points are coming down. I killed the goblin. Okay, so here's a prisoner. I don't... I've got one gold piece, so if I go in here and I try to buy a potion, it says insufficient funds, one gold piece. Okay, there's an enemy there. I'm just going to avoid him. Okay, it says 10C. 
Now this is another interesting thing here. This is a 10 by 10 grid, so X is 10, which means that if I press up against this wall, I can't go through it. But if I go to the left, it comes back in that... Here's, here's another ogre. I'm going to avoid the ogre because uh, I haven't got enough hit points to uh, defeat him. Okay, so I'm sort of cowering around here. Um, I've been killed again. We'll try again. Okay, st this time I've got a bit of good luck here. Because the um, the objects in the room are randomly generated, I've got some money next to me, which is good. I'll take that. Here's a chest. The chest is locked. I need a key to get into that. See if I can find a key. Some more money. So there's a lot of this sort of exploration and ad adventure. Here's some more money. I've got some gold. I'll attack this goblin. You attack the goblin. The goblin attacks. Hit points reduced. Uh, okay, there's a key. So if I get the key and I run back the way that I came... There's a chest down here, I believe. I can get something out of the chest using the key. I found a knife. So now when I attack an enemy, I'll, ha I'll be using a knife which deals more damage. Nice knife cores plus two. I killed the goblin. Alright, well, that's uh, a sample of gameplay. Um... If I hit escape, it goes back to the menu. Hit escape again, it goes away. Um, that's pretty much all I was going to show you with this little game. It's a simple little game, but it's it's got enough interest to be a decent little diversion, at least, anyway. <laughs>